justice is meted out for pretty woman who died in 2019 after a plot to get her drunk went wrong. Male model must now serve eight years in prison while the host of the party in Nantaburi and his girlfriend must serve five years and four months behind bars for the death of Lun Labelle in September 2019. Two of the accused were acquitted before the appeals court on Tuesday for having no part in her death which the court interpreted as an abusive plot that went tragically and horribly wrong for all concerned. Thailand's appeals court, on Tuesday, ordered four people convicted in relation to the tragic death of Thitman Orphan Pafat, a hostess or pretty who died after a party in Nontaburi, to be taken into custody while it acquitted two people at the party who it accepted were not part of a plot or conspiracy which led to the young woman's death in September 2019. The case shocked Thailand and on Tuesday, the primary defendant in the case, a male model, had a sentence of eight years in prison upheld for illegally detaining Miss Thitma against her will as well as his role in her demise through alcohol poisoning after the young woman was plied with drinks at a private party in a plot to get her drunk. Left, 27-year-old male model Rachidek Wangtabutra has a sentence of eight years confirmed as the court orders him taken into custody while three others including the host of an ill-fated party in Nantaburi and his girlfriend are sent to prison for five years and four months following the tragic death of pretty or hostess Thitma Norfan Pafat, right, also known as Lun Labelle in September 2019. On Tuesday, the appeals court in Bangkok upheld an eight-year sentence against 27-year-old Rachidek Wangtabutra a male model who was convicted and sentenced before Tonbury Criminal Court in October 2020 for abducting then-26-year-old Miss Thitman Orphan Pafat from a private party in the Bang Thong area of Nantaburi and contributing to her death. The 26-year-old woman had been employed as a pretty or hostess at the party but is understood to have been the victim of a conspiracy to get her to consume alcohol perpetrated by friends of Mr. Rachel Deck some of whom also had stiff sentences confirmed by the court on Tuesday. Death of young woman shocked and appalled Thailand sparking a debate about the gray area of hostess work and the dangers involved in it. The death of Lun Labelle on the night of 16 September and the morning of 17 September 2019 shocked Thailand and raised questions about the borderline activity linked with such hostess jobs which led to a flood of similar cases being reported in the years afterwards. The incident drew representations from many young women who defended their works as presenters or party hostesses against a common misconception that the role of hostess was a euphemism for discreet prostitution in a country with a large sex-for-sale industry with many subtle variations of the occupation. The death of the young woman prompted a more active and vigilant response to similar cases in the years since from the Royal Thai Police, where women working in the role who found they were abused or maltreated, had their reports promptly and diligently investigated. Ms. Thitma or Lun Labelle's story evoked strong public sympathy in 2019 as she left behind a three-year-old daughter called Bam Bam who referred to her mother as Mammy Bell and a family for whom she was the main breadwinner. Two defendants cleared as the court accepted their pleadings that they were unaware of what was happening at the party when the woman was taken. On Tuesday, two of the defendants before the court were cleared of the charges against them and for which they had previously been sentenced to five years and four months each by the lower court. The court accepted the pleadings of 28-year-old Crete Sida Lohidi and 36-year-old Kazit Ritnathirwat that they were not a party to any plot or conspiracy as they were unaware of the young woman's departure from the gathering in the hands of Mr. Rachadek while the young woman was in a semi-conscious or even comatose state as a result of ingesting alcohol. On Tuesday, the court ordered all four defendants sentenced to prison to be taken into custody after turning down a request for temporary release. The court ruled that all four represented substantial flight risks given the serious nature of the crime and the penalty imposed. 27-year-old male model pleaded innocence after his conviction in October 2020. Now faces eight years in jail for the illegal detention of Thitman her death. Mr. Rachel Deck, the male model, in October 2020, when sentenced by Tonbury Criminal Court, insisted on his innocence while also claiming to respect the authority of the court. I'll keep fighting. I respect the court's ruling. The truth is the truth, he told the media at the time. In September 2019, police investigating the death of Miss Thitma or Lon Labelle had initially found her body on the morning of September 17 lying on a sofa in the reception area of Mr. Rachidek's luxury apartment complex. Investigating officers later recovered CCTV footage showing him lifting the young woman into the building and up to his apartment while later bringing her back down again. He denied suggestions from the police that he may have sexually assaulted the young woman and was not charged on this basis after a medical examination found no evidence of this. Admitted undressing the young woman but vigorously and successfully denied sexually assaulting her, a claim later supported by medical tests on the body. 
He did however admit to undressing the young pretty and dressing her again before bringing her dead body down to the lobby area of his apartment complex on September 17, 2019. Death of Pretty Lunlo Bell has caused heartbreak for a Thai family and a three-year-old little girl. Another pretty says she woke up naked at the Nantaburi party venue where Lunlo Bell died. Police later discovered that Ms. Thitma had died from severe alcohol poisoning with a massive 418 mg per 100 ml in her system which medical experts explained was sufficient to leave her in an unconscious state and ultimately to kill her. Three others including party host and his girlfriend also taken into custody to begin jail sentences for the tragic death of the hostess at the ill-fated event. Mr. Rachidek was found guilty by the court of illegally detaining the victim against her will in addition to his part in the conspiracy to cause Ms. Thitma to consume a large volume of alcohol and party drinks. The family of the woman made representations to the Ministry of Justice and police agencies to have the investigation into her death given priority. A second autopsy confirmed that she had not been sexually assaulted but had died as a result of consuming an excessive amount of alcohol. The three other defendants aside from Mr. Rachidek had their sentences of five years and four months upheld on Tuesday. These included the owner of the residence where the party took place, 30-year-old Mr. Chiafan Fan as well as his girlfriend 25-year-old Phaikun Thong Bonfa and 34-year-old Nadi Sathifong Zathifan.